So the other day I did a video on Bootstrap Studio about um, what it can't do. And I mentioned about it can do uh, smart forms as uh, Bootstrap Studio call uh, in build tool. Um, and the difference between logins and contact forms is quite a lot really. So I've just got this example of, of like Halifax who I'm with, the uh, bank and for people who are um, not in this country. You see this here, it's a sign-in or a login. So, for example, if it was just very simple to do, you know, your bank details and stuff like that could be, could all be, you know, gone. And so, when you're adding these things, your names and your logins and things like that, and they are annoying passwords and stuff like that. They are, they are very annoying to use because you can forget and all that type of thing. But they are ne necessary because you know of viral threat or hacking or stuff like that so what these do is these can have a massive databases um, you can think of microsoft and all this type of business for your accounts you know your email account and that and um you know if you didn't have this it would be chaos so that is a these people who sometimes these be working in teams of, of people doing databases with PHP or Python, Node.js and all, all them backend tools. Um, whereas a contact form is much easier. I was asked about, oh, I don't know, about six, seven years ago to do uh, login forms for an international company that was teaching English or something like that. It was... Um, I think it was somebody from the Philippines who asked us to do, she was teaching English in this country. And um, and I said, if it's just a very small amount of people, that's fine. If it's not, I'm out of there. I don't, I wouldn't know what I was doing with databases. I know PHP to a degree, but I don't, I don't, databases are not interested in it. It's, it's for other people that. And they're very clever, these uh, these papers. So the difference is the contact form is something that I wouldn't say, no, nothing in programs easy, you know, it isn't, but like easier. So I mean, what's manageable? So you have um, here just your simple contact form, what's your name, your email address, uh, and your message, you check your tick box there, and you send your message to your email or whatever you know wherever it's sent um to the person that you want information from whereas uh you know the i'll show you the um the code for this so i checked this out and how many lines it was so you've got your php at the top of your html document always has to have html with it of course um so you've got that there and it goes to you know this is it here Oops. So that's it there. So I don't know what that is. 20, 25 lines of code. And then you have to go down here and you put it in, you know, this is, um, this might even be done with Bootstrap Studio. Um, but I programmed this years ago, this, uh, this contact form. And you go down to, do, 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 right here. So this bit here is also PHP mixed in with HTML, it has to be. Um, there's your contact form there. So it starts there. So you're talking, you know, you're talking maybe it tops 70 lines of code for a contact form. For, you know, you could have, contact forms could be longer than that, of course, you know. But when you're talking about login forms, um certainly for middle to major companies you're talking thousands upon thousands of uh of lines of code and databases and all the rest of it it's very complicated but different so again thanks for watching